Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny Channel. In our last class, we designed the exam uh, uh, user interface here. Now, what I'm going to do is here. Uh, I forgot one thing. I'm going to add the questions uh, form, right? So this one, this form I'm going to change it as this one should be the test, okay? So I I put as this one should be the question. This one test, right? This one I have to change this one test. This is the thing we have to do. Now what I'm going to do is here, this is a text, right? A test class, right? Select the default package, right click new, JFrame form. I'm going to create the questions form. Questions. Click finish. Right. Now here where I'm going to add the questions. So what I'm going to do is here. Uh, put one panel. Put one panel. Here I'm drag the label one label here now you click on this uh, panel right click properties border this one you have to change it as bevel border click ok right select this one here we have to add this one as a questions click on this one we have to change the front style with bold 36 click ok now first what I am going to do is here here I am going to uh, drag the labels this one should be question id id select this one control c to copy control v to paste it. this one should be the question name uh, this one uh, question right this one we have to question third one should be the option control c to copy control v to paste it. same label I am get the copy the so option one same label control C to copy control this one to option two same thing control C to copy control V to paste yes option three control C to copy control V to this option four final answer the answer control C to the same thing control C to copy control V to paste this one should be the answer Now let's select this one, this labels, all down the control key down on, select all the labels like this. Click and select, right click, properties, font we have to change this one as a bold, with 12, 40. Click OK, perfect. After that what I'm going to do is here, this one is a question ID, it's label we have to drag here, we have to properties, we have to change this one as a uh, 60 with bold this color we have to change this one as a red color other than here question drag the text field right. after the same text field control c to copy control v to paste take the copy and paste uh, this one this option one same thing, control C to copy, control V, this is option 2. Control C to copy, control V, this is option 3. Control C to copy, control V to paste here, this is option 4. Right. Here we have to mark the answer, so it's control C to copy, control V to paste, this here to answer. This is the thing we have to do first. Right? This is essential stuff we have to do. After that we have to add the button. So here first I am going to add the button as add button. So here we have to drag the button. This one. Right. This one should be that. Right? You have to add the button, right? I only I explain only the add part. Edit part all the stuff you have to do yourself, right? So here here we you can add the questions, right? So here what I'm going to do is here first. Uh, question number will be auto generated, right? This number I am going to generate so auto generated number I gave. Uh, this one. Go to structure. Right. Now here what I did is here. I have this number, uh, uh, I just remove the auto increment part here, I just this one, drag this one, drop here, drop it, again I am going to edit here, only I have put it here, uh, beginning of the table, go, this id, I only keep 11, only keep 
primary right i have not checked the auto increment part so because i have set into my code auto increment part will be i have set into my code right that is very essential stuff here so when you add the question the one by one the number should be incremented right so that is a good thing so instead of setting this here right so what i did here is now let's go to the source first i am going to establish the database connection i already established a database connection here right so let's back to my uh, course uh, final ladder course right here we already have a connect database connection we just copy them uh, connection object prepare all the stuff we just control c to copy back to here questions control v to paste here click ok right it's working perfectly we added the connection structure so this connection object control c to copy control v to paste inside the uh, constructor right that is the first time i did it after that i have to do the stuff is this auto increment stuff so how to make the, this auto increment stuff is uh, we have to create the method this is very essential stuff okay by you create in a method it's very easy public int get bill so we have to write if it is put in we have to this one should be the method we have to return something else right so that we have this the return method right if you pass the uh, data type over here you have write int bill number starting should be one right after we have write statement class smt equal connection object this connection object dot create statement this one here to make it as this class here to make it okay we have to add the try catch block right after that we have to write here is result set rs equal smt dot execute query here we have to write select all from select sorry we have to write only max we have to write id from which table this question table this control c to copy control v to paste here right this is the thing we have to do we have to add this one as a result set after that we have to write here rs dot next after that we have to write here is bill number bill number equal rs dot get int 1 plus 1 because it is incremented right it's auto uh, incremented by 1 right so here to i have to comment it here this one incremented increment by 1 auto id auto id here right set auto id set increment by 1 right you are set like this right this is a essential stuff right finally rs dot close we have to write a close method that is the stuff we have to do uh, finally we have to return the stuff so return which one we have to return bill number this bill number should be the auto increment but here control c copy control v to paste here now the error go away this bill number we have to set it here which label this label we have to set it here okay first we have named this one as a txt id this one you have to uh, edit text backspace to remove the excess select again here we have to txt question give you question question you have to write question this text box name question this one should be there a txt option one txt op1 select again edit text backspace to remove select again edit text backspace to remove select again txt op2 this one edit text backspace to remove select again txt op3 this one edit text backspace to remove select again txt op4 this one backspace to remove select again t 
txt answer right now yeah first what i did here is you have to call it here txt question dot set text here we have to write we have to call it this one right string dot value of you have to pass it this method get this one control c to copy control v to paste here then only it's work right what's the value coming here it's work right here okay this is the thing we have right now let's run and check questions file ah here this one here coming here it is put it here above here this one txt question not question this is a question number this is this txt id control c to copy is txt id txt id now let's check now you will be able to check here it's one it's working perfectly well now let's check now you'll be able to add the question options what are the options there click that button that's what is handled right now the interface i'm going to change it as this one question you have to control f we have search it ui mental so you have designed your select this one properties change variable generate center run file here it's perfectly it's there right here change the interface look nice right now you will be able to add the questions here now what i did here is it's very simple uh, we have a only we have a add part so we have to write questions uh, right here this is the insert part of the code insert part code i just copy this one instead of writing again control c to copy here question right here we have to action action perform we have to paste inside this button now we will be able to change the things right first we have to change the things right only we have to change here we, we already created the table okay all the stuff we have to create it here here so all the things we have to create it now what i am going to do is here we have to first we have to add the only we have to first we have to equal into the relevant text fields right so txt id dot get text this one should be id this is a question question text box name should be txt question if you are not remember about that you just go here right click change variable you can check here right it's very thing simple third one should be the option one so txt op1 get text right so this one option one op1 same thing control c to copy control v to paste here This one should be option two. This one should, should be option three. Option four. This one should be the answer. Txt answer. Right. This one. What is the name? Control C to copy. Control V to paste here. Txt. Sorry. Text answer right. Perfect. Now what I'm going to do is here. We have to do the following columns we have to added. So we have to go here. Now here the given answer we have to make this one as a uh, this column. Otherwise it's a problem. Change this one as a. Now here given answer, here we have to null, right? Here this one uh, given answer, we have to make it make it as this one null. Okay, we have to save it. Right? This is important stuff. Okay, this given answer make it as null. Others are not null. This only this column we make it as null. This is very important stuff. You must do it. Okay, this very essential stuff. You would follow the stuff null, right? Now let's back to here. 
Now here first we have to if we have to specify the column names in for the insert part, right? So this table is question table. We have to store the records. Question. Uh, what are the columns? We have to specify the column names first. These are the columns names, right? So we have to write person with the ID. Questions. Option one. Tama option two. Tama option three. Tama option four. Tama answer. Tama given answer. This one you have right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have right eight, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now here we have right first this ID. Can you see it? Copy. Can you read it? Paste here. Question. Can you see it? Copy. Can you read it? Paste here. This one option. Can you see it? Copy. Can you read it? Paste here. After that we have right the third, the third three. Paste it here. The fourth one must be. Can you see it? Copy. Can you read it? Paste here. This one can you see it? Copy. Can you read it? Paste here. This one should be six. Can you see it? Copy. Can you read it? Paste here. This one should be can you see it? Copy. Can you read it? Paste here. This is the seventh one. Can you see it? Copy. Can you read it? Paste here. Seven. Right. But the how many columns are available here? Uh, this one. The not given answer. We no need. Only seven. Right. Question marks are there. This is the only stuff we have to do. After that, we have to add that according to the database, right? We have to clear this one. Right. Question added. Question added. Right. Otherwise, fail. Control C, copy. Control Control. Question fail. Right. This is the right. Now let's check whether it's working fine or not. Question. Here. Uh, here first we have to write. What is the variable? What is what is variables? Variables. Right. It's a question, right? Here you have to answer the. You have to give the options, right? Uh, I just give the uh, option uh, memory memory storage. Temporary surgery, you have to write like this. These are the answer you have to write. Uh, I just put it as A, B, C, second. B, B, C, third one should be V, B, B, just like this, right? The answer is A, B, C is a correct answer. You just write like this, okay? You have to give the options like this, right? These are these are your options. Here the correct answer is this, right? Now if you click add button, question added, you will be able to see the question is added or not. You can check here. Added successfully. Question will be added successfully. You will be able to see here, right? Uh, I hope you guys you understood the things well. If you have any doubt on this, you can ask me. I will continue the uh, uh, tutorial in my next video. Thank you for watching.